My name is James McVeigh, I play guitar in a band called The Vamps, and this is my chat with Spindle Magazine. Uh, the latest single is a song called Personal. Um, it features a girl called Maggie Linderman, who is awesome. Uh, we shot the video in, in London, and the song is about... Well, the line is, don't take it personal, but personally, I think you'd be better with somebody like me. So it's that kind of vibe, that like love triangle, um, childhood relationship that, that never really blossomed. Um, and I think it's a slightly different uh, step for us, slightly away from the straight up synth drop EDM. Uh, it's still got a bit of that vibe, but I think we're slowly kind of transitioning back into the, the band that we were for the first album, maybe sonically, it's slightly less synthy and it's more, I guess, band orientated. So, so that's the new song. Um, and that's, that's a hint at what to expect on the second half of our third album. So that's coming out next summer. Um, but yeah, we're just having a really good time, constantly changing our, our style really and, and sound. We, we like to try different things. And this song is definitely one that we've had a great time making. So hope that you enjoy it. My earliest memory of music uh, was a strange one. I know there's always a bit of a conversation about when can you actually have memories go back to, but I swear that I remember before I could walk, I was lying next to a bath uh, in my first family house, so I can't have been, I don't know, I must have been really young if I couldn't walk. And I remember um, my dad playing music from down the hallway, so I must have been a baby. That's my earliest memory. My relationship uh, with music growing up was um, a, th a strange one, really. My, my dad was really into playing um, a lot of, I guess, like rock music from the 70s, 80s. So, like, we had like Thin Lizzy. Um, so, I, I kind of grew up listening to music that was slightly different from, I presume, the cliche. You know, I wasn't really listening to pop music. Um, so, consequently, I think I, I was very lucky to be to be aware of music that was outside, like the immediate go-to and I think that really helped me. I was into guitar music from a very early age um, and that definitely inspired me to, to follow the, the guitar band route. How did uh, we get discovered? I guess um, I was very, very lucky. Um, I was definitely in the MySpace era of music when I was sort of 15, 16 and I was putting songs um, up on just by myself on, on MySpace um, and one day I got a message on there from uh, a guy who uh, founded and, and helped create Busted and McFly um, so he, when he kind of appeared in my inbox like 15 year old me was like this is the best thing ever um, and he invited me to London which was incredible I'd never been to London before um, and pretty quickly we started working together and then with that initial relationship um, I started looking for other musicians because I wanted to be in a band. I just didn't know the right people back in Dorset. So from there, with, with the help of, of the manager, Richard and Joe, um, we, we, we put a band together, basically. I found Brad on, on YouTube, uh, and then from there we found Tristan and then Connor. And once we were, uh, well, when we were three, we started making covers, putting them online. Um, and Luckily, record labels kind of picked up on that, that movement on, on YouTube. Um, so we were, we were very lucky to be signed as, as a three from literally putting stuff on YouTube. And then when Connor came along, everything kind of exploded and it was, uh, it was awesome.